Hey everybody, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and today we're gonna to be going over my BT12 Gallimon deck profile. So this is new support from BT12, which um, featured a lot of support for Cross Hunters, Beelzemon, Gallimon, and all sorts of other really cool and fun new cards. So we're gonna be going over my Gallimon deck. Really love this deck. It's one of the main reasons I kind of started getting into the Digimon TCG. So I'm really excited to show off my new updates. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Starting off with our Digi Eggs or Digitamas. I'm just running the four Gigimon. This is the Gigimon from EX2. Um, just because getting an extra draw is still really helpful. The new Gigimon just increases the amount of DP you can delete up to. Um, but I feel like drawing your resources is still really important. So I find it more helpful. So we're running the Gigimon for our babies. Going into the meat of the deck, starting off, we're just gonna go right into our three Gallimons. I'm only running three of the new Ultimate from BT12. Has Raid, so it can swing at your opponent's big beefy boys, and also lets you delete something that's 6k DP or less when it swings or when it digivolves. Uh, when it attacks, if you can't delete anything from its deletion effect, you can trash the top of your opponent's security, which is also really nice. Being able to kind of help push for game a lot faster by trashing your opponent's security is kind of Gallimon's thing, so it's nice to see that we're still keeping that on top of the, the raid, which is really, really cool. Uh, speaking of cards that we're keeping, Gallimon from the start deck, set seven, has security attack plus one, and when it attacks, you can delete something 4k DP or less. If you didn't, this gets an extra 3k DP, just so you can swing for a really big number at your opponent's security. So this is a very like swing at security focused deck, aggro beat down, a little bit of control. Um, but we're doing this just to mostly focus on being able to swing at my opponent's security and, you know, kind of take advantage of that. So we're doing two of that, just in case we don't see our raids and also that we can, uh, you know, play around with our choices. But I'm running three copies of Gallimon X Antibody as well. So what Gallimon X Antibody does is you can digivolve all of our Gallimon for one, and when it digivolves, you can delete uh, one of your opponent's lowest DP Digimon. And if no Digimon was deleted by this on Digivolution effect, you can unsuspend this. So get another swing out of it, which is really cool. During your turn, when your opponent's Digimon is deleted, if you have Gallimon or X Antibody in the Digivolution cards, you can trash your opponent's security, just one. So that's also really nice to be able to have that effect of on deletion and being able to trash security and kind of push for some additional damage as well. So uh, either way, on spending or trashing, still really good uh, offensive measures going on with this deck. And lastly, for our meat of the deck, we're running one copy of Crimson Mode. So Crimson Mode is like our finisher. What it does is when you Digivolve, you delete all of your opponent's highest DP Digimon. When this attacks, you trash the top of your opponent's security. And then for every 10 in their drop, you trash an additional security. So this is really good against the Beelzemon match and um, kind of helps you just finish off the game after a full, you know, game of kind of blowing up your opponent's board and increasing their trash. So this is pretty much your finisher. If your opponent has one or two security stacks left and you go into this, you should be winning the game. All right, so that is it for the ultimates. We're now gonna go into, uh, or sorry, our megas. We're gonna be going into our ultimates now. Starting off with our four copies of the new Gramon. So this is the one from set 12. What this Gramon does is when it digivolves, you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon, 4k DP or less. If nothing was deleted, you can then digivolve this War Gramon into a card with Gallimon in its name for its digivolution cost, and you can reduce the cost by one. So this can help you digivolve into Raid Gallimon or X Antibody Gallimon, just kind of get it right off the bat. When you digivolve, you can activate the Blitz from Takato. So that way you're swinging with your Gallimon and getting those effects off. And then inherently, at the end of the attack, uh, if your opponent has no Digimon in play and it has Growl or Gallimon in its name, you can gain two memory at the end of the attack. So this way you can kind of go back on your memory gauge back to your turn. And that way you can still kind of do some additional plays as well. So I really like the end of attack effect from the War Gramon. And then our last ultimate, I'm running four copies of the EX3 War Gramon. So what this one does is when you Digivolve, uh, both players mill the top three cards of their deck. And then if a player has five or more in their trash, you can play a Gilmon or a Takato from your hand or trash without having to pay the cost. So being able to set up for your 
attack step, which is really nice. The other War Grandmons either just delete or increase security if you delete. And since this deck isn't really focusing on big deletion, um, we're just kind of focusing on beatdown and like little little baby deletions. Um, we can still take advantage of the fact that we can use War Grandmon to help us, you know, build our resources, get the cards we're looking for. And since it grabs Takatos and Grandmons from trash, um, you know, we can recycle, which is really nice. Level fours, we got our four BT12 Grandmons. This is the new one that lets you play a Takato for free if you do not have a Takato in play when you Digivolve, which is really nice. Um, the Inherited says that if this is a Digimon with Gramon or Galmon in its name, it gets an extra 2k DB, DP, which is also really cool. So that way you're not worried about your opponent's security, like completely obliterating your big old Galamon that you spent your whole turn building up to. I like this at four just because early game, if I do have Takato in my hand, I can just get it out on the board for free. Super simple, easy. Um, but if I do already have Takato in play, it's just a it's just a Grauman just to digivolve into, but the inherited for the extra DP is really important, especially when we're uh, using raid Grauman. Speaking of inherited affected Grauman, we're running our four copies from the start deck. So this is the Grauman where if you delete something, you can gain a memory. We do still have deletion effects, so we might as well gain that memory. And it's also the cheapest play cost. Grauman, if you have to play it, you can. And uh, yeah. Super simple. This is a staple pretty much for almost every uh, Gallimon deck. This card's never gone away. And lastly, I'm running two copies of Gramon X Antibody. So we're only running 10 of our level fours. This one is just to digivolve over your Gramons for free. Has the inherited effect to increase DP effects, deletion effects by 1K, but um, we're mostly doing it just to get an extra draw out of the Digivolution. And you know, it's a Gramon, so it's searchable. So that's it for our level fours. Now we're going into our level threes, pretty much like the lettuce of the deck. So we got our four Gilmon. This is a new one from set 12 as well. It's on play. You look at the top four cards of your deck and you add all the Takatos from among them to your hand and you put the rest on the bottom. So it's a little weird because there, are, out of the whole deck, there is not a lot of Takatos. So banking off this effect isn't really that good in my opinion, but it has the same inherited as Gramon, which is your Digimon with Gramon or Gallimon in its name, the Inherited gets an extra 2k DP. So that just kind of helps you with Raid as well. And um, we're not doing as much deletion effects. So having the uh, the Gilmon that lets you draw when you delete something isn't going to be nearly as important. And it doesn't hurt to have that, you know, on play search Takato and you might find it. All right, speaking of Gilmons. More Gilmons. This is the one from EX2. This is a staple in any Gallimon deck you play. On play, reveal top four, add a Gralmon or Gallimon, and a Takato from among them to your hand, and put the rest on the bottom. So this is what's going to be your main searcher. So this is your new call tar target with the EX3 War Gralmon. You want to play this early if you can at the beginning of the game, just kind of help you search. And it just finds everything you're looking for. So this one for sure, you will definitely want to run four of it. I'm running two copies of the start deck Gilmon. This is the one, the alt art from the Beelzemon start deck, but it's the same one from the Gallimon start deck. It has the exact same effect. So during your turn, if your opponent has a level six, you can digivolve this Digimon into Gallimon for a cost of four, ignoring the Digivolution requirements. So it just lets you warp into your Gallimon if they have a level six. And it's inherited is when your opponent's Digimon is deleted, you draw a card. So only running two of this just because it's not a searcher, and we have the new Takato Tamer, which lets you warp into warp any Gilmon into Gallimon. So being able to have to warp into Gallimon from this one isn't as important anymore. So I'm only dropping it down to two. And lastly, for our Gilmons, I'm running two of the Gilmon X Antibodies, um, just because the new Takatos and the new effects, they specifically named Gilmon for the search and for the um, warp. So Gilmon X Antibody won't be as, you know, targeted, but it's still really good if you want a free draw. So it's Digivolve for zero on the Gilmon and on Digivolution, delete something 3k DP or less, you know, just to stop floodgates. And inherently, it adds 1k DP to uh, deletion effects as well. So that could come in handy, but uh, we're just doing it just for the, the free draw. That's that's pretty much it. And that's it for Gilmons, but I had to do it. I had to run it. The last Digimon in our deck is Kalamon. I 
Love this card. If you really don't want to run this, you don't have to. Run like another champion if you want for consistency or run more options or tamers or whatever it is you want. But I'm running the one Kalamon because it's actually really, really funny. What Kalamon does is if you uh, play this from hand and you have a Gilmon on the board, you can reduce the play cost by two. So you can play it for one. Uh, it also has the ability where it cannot attack. So uh, it's never going to be able to swing for game. <laughs> but when one of your other Digimon Digivolve, you can suspend this, gain a memory, draw a card, and give that Digimon an extra 3k DP for the turn. So since we're running Raid Gallantmon, I figure, you know what doesn't hurt? Getting an extra 3k DP when I'm raiding into something, right? So that's kind of like the goal here. Um, it's also just nice if your Kalamon stays on the board, you know, throughout the next turn. It's just another free draw and memory when you Digivolve, which is really nice. And adding more DP to the thing that Digivolves. So I like the one Kalamon. It does come up and it does kind of make my play work. Also, what's really funny is it doesn't have a level. So we I played a game with Miles where he had to bounce my lowest level Digimon. And since Kalamon didn't have a level, it didn't bounce. So it stayed on my board. Um, and he just bounced, I think, like uh, one of my other rookie, one of my other Gilmons, or maybe he bounced my Gallimon, but the Kalamon stayed on the board. So um, level-specific effects don't affect Kalamon, which is really cool. Um, but I love the, I love this card. Look how cute the alt art is. So good. Now we're going into our Tamers, starting off with our two new Takatos. I'm only running two because Blitz, Blitz Takato is just that much better, in my opinion, but... This is a Takato that's a memory setter, so no more heroes, which is cool. And then the main effect is once per turn by placing this Tamer and one Gromon and one War Gromon from your trash under one of your Gilmon that's in play. You can Digivolve that Gilmon into a Gallimon from your hand and ignoring its level, and then you can give it an extra 2k DP as well. So I, I like how they're kind of incorporating the Digimon Tamers thing where the Tamer and the Gilmon or Takato and Gilmon, you know, fuse into Gallimon. So that being written to a card ability is really cool, but also the fact that it puts Gralmon and War Gralmon into the stack so you get those inherited's and they'll get those extra, you know, that extra DP is really nice as well. But I'm only running two copies because we still have a way to search out Takato. And also, I still think the EX2 Takato is a little more important. So I am running four of the EX2 Takato. So what this one does is when an opponent's Digimon is deleted during your turn, you can suspend this Digimon to gain a memory. And then during your turn, when your Digimon digivolves into something with Graumon or Gallimon in its name, that Digimon gets, when digivolving, Blitz. So this is really important because this is how you're going to be ending the game because you're going to be paying a lot of memory to go into your Gallimon. And this is also what makes Crimson Mode help win the game. So being able to blitz and swing your opponent when you go past the memory gauge is kind of what Gallimon's whole thing, in my opinion. So I want to run four just so that I see it. Um, if you want, you can try going three and three. That's something I know some people are doing. Um, I might go to three and three, but for now I'm just doing two and three because when I'm, if I have this Takato, I'm fine. I'm really looking for this one. This is the one that I really, really want on my board. So that's it for Tamers. And then we're going into our options. I'm running two red memory boosts because red mem helps you search and helps you gain memory. So top four, looking for a red, it doesn't hurt. And also it's security effect places it into your battle area. So you can, you know, the following turn delay it for two more memory. So can't go wrong with more memory. And lastly, running two X antibody. We're specifically running this just for Gallimon X. So the idea here is that when you digivolve into your war Gralmon, if you have the X antibody already set up on the Gralmon before it, you can then Digivolve again into Gallimon X. And because you now have X antibody in your Digivolution cards, you can trash the top of your opponent's security after deleting something, which is really nice. So that's the idea here. It also has a security effect of um, you gain a memory and you can add this to your hand. So if your opponent's at zero on the memory gauge, you can end their turn, you know, without, you know, unexpectedly, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much just for Gallimon X. And also it has the effect of uh, 
when attacking, this Digimon can Digivolve into a Digimon with X antibody in its traits from your hand for its Digivolution cost. So you can, you know, attack with War Growmon and then Digivolve into Gallimon X. So uh, X antibody, you know, still seeing play to this day. <laughs> X antibody is just so good. Okay. That was it. That was the uh, that was the deck profile. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm looking forward to showing off some gameplay of this deck in the near future, and hopefully being able to show off that really cool warp effect where you can warp your Geomon into your Gallimon. Looking forward to that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any other decks or anything else you're interested in for um, for Digimon, just let us know. It's something that is kind of important to us in the channel. We really want to start getting into uh, Digimon just because we've been having a lot of fun with it recently. So if you guys have any other content or anything specifically for Digimon you're looking forward to, let us know and we'll see if we can get it to you. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.